In 4Prompt Studio software, the screen that welcomes us consists of three main parts. The middle part is the text editing area. The panel at the top is the section where we can adjust the text we select. The panel at the bottom is the panel where the general page settings are made. Story list is the panel where news headlines are listed. From here, the titles in the text can be displayed after making the MOS connection. Rundown list panel is a panel that lists news from Newsroom. On this panel, we can transfer the selected news to the editor. Control Devices section is a panel that lists Fortinj controllers installed on the server. From this panel, we can see the characteristics of the controllers such as battery, gravity force, availability status. Engine Control panel has Prompt, Start Text Scrolling, Stop Text Scrolling, Update, Go to Selected Header Buttons. Speed panel includes the bar where the text flow rate is set, Speed Up, Speed Down, scroll to the top of the page, scroll to the bottom of the page, and Previous News, Next News buttons. Preview panel provides a preview of the image on the engine screen. From this panel, we can follow the engine screen instantaneously. We can send a message to engine from the Spot Message panel. Studio connections are made with engine from engine panel. Different engines can be managed remotely over IP on the network. The monitor to display the engine screen can be selected. Edit screen. Now, let's get to know the edit screen. From this panel, we can create new text or import ready-made text. We can import HTML, docx, txt, rtf file types. Import HTML file. You can make edits to the file we opened. You can change the font, the font size, you can give styles such as bold, italics, underline. There are left alignment, mean, right alignment, and two-sided alignment options. You can change the color of the selected text. The background color. You can use cut, copy, and paste functions. With clear format, we can remove all style changes in the text. This feature will be used to make text understandable when we receive text from the internet or in complex texts such as docx, rtf. With these two icons, we can undo or move forward with the changes we made. And you can save this edited post or save it as a different file. General page settings can be adjusted here. You can change the font color and background color of the page. You can adjust the row height, convert all letters to uppercase and lowercase. You can give spaces to the sides. This feature can be applied in the use of monitors of different resolution. There are settings, text stats, and about buttons. The slider at the bottom right changes the size of the post on the editor screen. The change here does not affect the size of the text, only allows us to look at the text from a more general perspective. It does not change the font size on the engine screen. Engine Control With this panel, we can control the engine screen from the studio interface. Prompt Key sends the text on the edit screen to the engine screen. Play Key starts scrolling. Stop Key stops scrolling. Update Key updates the changes on the edit screen when the text slides on the engine screen. For example, let's change the color of the word prompter. When update button is clicked, the change we made goes to the engine screen. If we right-click the update button, we will activate the automatic update feature. With the automatic update feature, all the changes made on the edit screen go to the engine screen instantly. For example, let's add our text. We can see that the text on the engine screen is updated while writing. Go to Active Title. With this button, we can also show the title that appears on the editor screen on the engine screen. So we can continue the flow from any heading we want. You can adjust the text flow rate from the speed panel. You can gradually increase or decrease the speed or directly adjust the speed we want with the speed bar. With these buttons, you can go to the top and bottom of the page. 
The lowest arrows allow you to go to the previous and next news in Engine. Preview Panel You can open and close the preview screen with the Enable Preview checkbox. You can follow the Engine screen instantly with the preview screen. Spot Message Panel We may send a message to the server in the corner of the Engine screen when the server does not use headphones or when the headphone connection is lost. Text Countdown, time can be sent by spot message. Engine Panel 4Prompt Studio has the ability to control different engines on the network thanks to its working principle with IP-based server client architecture. An editor can manage multiple engine screens. Here you can choose which monitor to send the engine screen to. MOS Now let's move on to MOS integration. 4Prompt Studio software runs on all MOS versions. Let's send rundowns from MOS Newsroom. Rundowns are not listed in the Rundown List section. From here, we view the titles of the newsletter we want and transfer the text to the editor. The following Auto Update is Active warning indicates that the control is in the Newsroom. If we make changes to the Edit screen, these changes will appear until the data comes from the Newsroom. Let's load different rundowns. We can see the speaker's name in red background color. You can view the news by double-clicking on the newsletters in the Moss Text Sources panel. Story List panel. The active rundown titles on the edit screen are listed here. The titles that appear active on the edit screen appear in green in the story list. You can go to the title by double-clicking on the title we want on the Edit screen. Let's install a rundown from iNews. Our iNews link is currently active. 4Prompt Studio News works in Avid iNews compatibility. Control Devices Our control devices can be used as plug and play. Let's put the controller on PC. You can connect as many remote controllers as we want. Controls can be operated simultaneously. RF and JOG controllers are listed. Since the RF controller is a wireless controller, you can see the battery and traction power status on the control devices panel. In the status column, the command sending the command lights green, the command not sending command lights yellow, and the standby control lights gray. Contour Shuttle Devices, Foot Switch, and Pen Mouse also work. General Operation IP-based control It has the ability to control different servers on the network thanks to the infrastructure running with server client architecture. An editor can manage multiple engine screens. Multiple editors can be connected to an engine screen simultaneously. Multiple language support is available. Let's turn on RTL for the languages written from left to right, Arabic, Chinese. Let's send the text to the engine screen. Licensing Enter license menu from key icon. The license key is entered in the serial key section. The company name or individual name is entered in the organization or name section. The first three sections are compulsory fields. Country, city, and phone options are optional. Here is a, this license will apply to this computer warning. So the activated license can only be used on this computer until it is removed from the activated computer. Press the register button. A registration complete restart program warning has been issued. Let's restart the program. When the program is restarted, we can see from the license menu that the program is licensed and has a news plugin. This field will be read when there's no news plugin. From this section, we see in whose name the license is registered. The first four digits and last four digits of the license number, the duration of the license from this section, and the date of updating from this section. The license may be for a period of time or indefinitely. The inscription infinite here indicates that the license is indefinite. All 4Prompt Studio versions up to the date written in this section are available for free. 
If the license is to be removed from this computer and activated on a different computer, the license must be deactivated with the Unregister button. Unregister warning is approved. Entering the license menu again shows that the license of the software has been removed. This can be done once a month.